Sir, how are you feeling? You have already casted your votes. So are you feeling anxious? Are you nervous? I think uh, there's a lot of confidence in the air. And all over from Nagaland, information are pouring in that we are doing good. So I'm happy. Also, sir, you have been elected twice from this constituency. So uh, do you have high, high expectations from 38? High expectation means... Uh, what sort of uh, high expectation? Like, uh, are you confident that you will get majority in today? Absolutely, absolutely. Oh, all, over the, all over the state, the feeling is that we'll get not less than 70%. All right, sir. Okay, so, sir, sir. Uh, although there are three candidates in the fray and not undermining any candidates, uh, <laughs> this is a fight between you and the Congress candidate. Yes, yes. So how are you looking things at? Well, exactly. Initially, the Congress had played a religious card that BJP, or for that matter, lines of BJP is anti-Christian. Now, people have realized that that is the wrong thing to do. In fact, uh, Congress had even come up with, is going to come up with a law that will, you know, recognize uh, or legalize the, you know, lesbians, homosexuals, and all that. So in our Christian context, they have understood that it is not about religion, it is about development. So I don't think I have a competition from any quarter, right? Okay, so uh, ENPO is resolute on the resolution and there is a plan uh, in the, at the re eastern region. Mm. Uh, so where, uh, where more than 10 legs of waters are there? Not 10 legs, it's uh, 40 uh, four, 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 four legs. Mm. Okay, so what are your thoughts on that? Well, actually we are said that ENPO is not participating because the electoral process is for the benefit of the people, right? But then, even if they don't participate also, the figure will go down, but the percentage will remain. So I think we are comfortable without uh, ANPO's vote also, but I would say that we would have been happier and more comfortable if uh, ANPO had gone for voting. Yeah. Well, so unlike uh, our assembly election, usually we see like our people don't very give importance to Lok Sabha, you know. The mm. turnout is little uh, less than our uh, assembly elections. Mm. But today we are seeing a lot of people turning up. What do you have to say on that? Absolutely, because uh, this time the wave of the people is much more uh, higher because of the anticipation. We are living in a crucial time. And this crucial time is because the Naga political issue uh, that is yet unresolved. Uh, I think the government of India is going to take keen interest as uh, mentioned by uh, Prime Minister Modi the other day. So I think the feeling of the people is uh, uh, quite loud and clear that uh, we want development and we want solution to the Vex Naga problem. Right. So our country will enter? Well, you see, <coughs> Nagaland, we are still deficient in uh, many infrastructure development. And the government today is taking extra step to ensure that uh, sports facilities, uh, they are up to the mark, uh, where we can host uh, national as well as international uh, events. I think that is also one area. But other than that, you see that road development is taking place all over Nagaland. So the other infrastructure uh, facilities, uh, the basic needs that we need to look after, Jal Jivan Mission is doing very good. We have to see to it that uh, it has 100% coverage. And the other areas of development is definitely under the Finance Commission, the current, uh, we will look into. And for the districts? Yeah. For the districts, it covers the same, the unstableness of our soil. Uh, that may be a big advantage for flyovers, except maybe Timopur. So I think that is also a futuristic uh, sort of uh, you know, plan that can take place. Right now, we are concerned with the road surface. Uh, mm. Nagaland TV, Sop Manulaga Awas. Watch us live on Geo TV and on your television sets as well. For Dumapu viewers, we are on channel number 994 in Global Chapter. And Kohima and Mokokchong viewers, switch to channel number 138 on Hornbill Digital. For all news and updates, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter.